Assalamu alaikum everyone. How is everyone doing? Oh, today I'm gonna do all the product I love to do. Uh, I actually love out of all my makeup what I, I prefer, uh, personally prefer to use. So any makeup today I'm gonna use all the product what I personally love uh, and I, I my face is combined like I am a kind of dry and oil oil both so my t-zone is very oily my t-zone is like that my t-zone nose bit is very oily my cheek my forehead my chin uh, is very dry so uh, this the, for me without this um uh, primer makeup primer i'm not gonna use i know i never going to um, start my makeup primer if you have like very very dry okay very very dry dry skin then don't use this one okay this is a mm, oil this is uh, fenty beauty this uh, primer makeup primer is oil control and personally me i use fenty beauty i use um Huda Beauty, I use so many other products. Out of all the makeup primer, this is the best primer. I absolutely love this primer. So when you putting, I already put moisturize, so any um, very dry skin, okay? Then don't use this one, okay? Before you using, please read the review, please read the ingredient, read the product, and then buy it, okay? Huh? wait two three minutes your primer to um let your skin to observe all your primer okay when you're using after washing your face use your um toner use your moisturizer then use your your primer okay without fa face wash without your moisturize never use primer because remember if you are working all day or if you are just wake up um and you wash your face and not putting your moisturize then when you're putting the primer primer not going to be moisturized enough so you will get a flaky you will get your crack crack on your face don't like um foundation lot of lot of people don't like foundation if you that kind of person if you don't like foundation you like just a powder use a uh, mac uh, studio fix powder this is my every single day use if i'm going out if i'm going um work if i'm going a meeting if i'm going a local shop shopping anybody's house this is something i use i don't use um all the time my foundation i always use my mac um studio fix this powder this powder is it's like a my color is c35 and this is a like a very dry powdery foundation kind of things it's not foundation it's not powder face powder it's like a little bit heavy than face powder it's really really good so this is something always you'll find in on uh, in my bag and then let's start with our makeup i absolutely love nyx um beauty blender this beauty blender i use so many beauty blender and out of all the beauty blender i absolutely love nyx one so today i'm gonna use everything what i absolutely love using so another things for foundation uh all the wearing picture you did see uh, my brother wearing i only use um estee lauder i do i do have a lot of other brand mac nas uh huda beauty i do have zoevers i do have uh amani i do have ysl out of all the foundation three days i use this one because i feel like when i'm using this one my smile line, line don't get cracked and i don't um not a lot of oil come out so i use this one all full wedding because i absolutely love estee lauder's foundation it's three and two with w h e a t with three and two this one If your skin is oily and if you if you are going oil based foundation that will give you extra oil that time you will really struggle um, to 
do your makeup all day might be your foundation will be look really nice but all day to set your foundation is not it's going to be hard so any um, base base is depends what moisturizing you using it's very important what moisturizing you're using if you are using very oily moisturize and your face is already oily and that time remember that time you will struggle because a lot of oil will come out you need a good primer you need good moisturize and then you need a good uh, foundation and setting powder a lot of people use um might be you are using a foundation and you're not using any powder setting powder then you, it's up to individual people but i will never do my makeup without my um setting powder i will never do my makeup without setting powder because i feel like my face is going to be very very oily mm. I do like uh, Maybelline. If you are looking for something affordable, go for Maybelline. Maybelline concealer are so good. Uh, I love NAS. Uh, NAS is very good. I absolutely love uh, LA Pro, uh, LA Girl um, concealer. So depends what kind of things you like. LA Girl concealer is very, very heavy. So NAS, I am going for highlighter. I am not doing any concealer today. Uh, I'm gonna do medium custard. This is a NAS medium custard for my highlight. NAS is good. I love uh, Maybelline. Recently, I am loving Maybelline. NAS is a little bit, um, I will say, a little bit la um, uh, medium to la um, heavy coverage. Highlighter uh, is where I am using under your eye, forehead, nose, lips, and chin. So I am using this side of my um, beauty blender. You need a damp beauty blender. Use a damp beauty blender. I uh, I done top of my eyelid as well because it's good way to do your eyelid with your concealer. It's really really good um, if you are using your concealer is cupcake this is um the setting powder i absolutely love to use i'm going to bake under eye a lot of sister do ask me or oh, i do get under eye a lot of lot of uh, crease uh, under my eye and my set um, i cannot set my setting powder under my eye this is how you can set your um eyelid and your under eye bake your under eye and leave that until like four to five minutes minimum um and then you can do um uh, use a brush so i like to set my foundation with my setting powder my smile line i always go um here and both lot of time because i feel like if i don't set my foundation here i do get um, crack here and here So you need a small brush and go over where you feel it's not going to be set. Your foundation not going to be set. It's really good. Under your eye, when you finish your baking under your eye, you need to do the same thing with small brush and go over uh, your eyelid um, under eye to set your powder and you will never get a crease if you have a lot of crease top of your eyelid and under your eye pull your under eye um, skin a little bit high up and then wipe both with a small brush like that okay and this is i done set my my eyelid is ready for my makeup okay so when you're doing a concealer do top of your eye concealer um, use your damp beauty blender and then set with setting powder it's very important to set your eyelid with a good setting powder because if you don't when you're using your um eyeshadow that will go inside your crease okay using zoeva this one uh this is 109 this is a square brush and it's really, really nice and soft brush for your contouring. And for my contouring, I absolutely love OPV contouring, powder-based contouring, this palette. I absolutely love this palette. I do use 
who like toasted but I will if I people say which one is the best I absolutely love this palette this palette got all the color um, highlighter color and contouring color color as well it will make your face skinny I am using this color I'm using this color contouring here I uh, I done my contouring in my cheek so my cheek will look skinnier and lift up to make my chin ch uh, cheek cheekbone high up okay and here under my jaw to make my uh, face skinny so i am putting a little bit of here top of my lips to make my lip bridge nice under my lips to make my lips big this uh, blusher i'm using just a little bit of pinkish blusher Lot of people like to do their blusher here round here i love to do my blusher this here today okay it's up to you what you like how you want to do it do it how you prefer to do it do everything what you feel good to do i absolutely love this pencil this pencil is from new look i bought it last year i think and it's such a beautiful pencil let me show you what I mean, okay? I done with my face. I'm gonna do highlighter later. How beautiful this pencil is. This pencil is from New Look and absolutely gorgeous. I love this pencil. See? I love this pencil so nice. This is the Be Perfect palette and this palette all the color. Wow. This palette is so nice. I'm going to use this color, this color and this color to like match like nicely blend with this color you can leave this eye, eye pencil how it is but i will show you what i mean so i will go with this dark um green color um forest this is a forest so be perfect if you are looking for a palette gorgeous palette go for be perfect i go both and it's absolutely beautiful all the color is so nice so i am going with forest so a little bit of forest on your um brush this brush is a normal morphe brush so small dumb brush so i am going to pat 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 all that, that green on my uh, top of the eyebrow pencil i like so this is look what difference is making okay i'm gonna go tap 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 this one tap 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 take all that excess off and then go and just dab on the uh, on the eyeliner you put okay there and now i am going with this color a little bit tap 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 and then take all the excess and go top of that eyeliner okay top of the eyebrow pencil or here okay just one layer up okay you blending the eyeliner okay eyebrow pencil okay to look nice and sexy you could keep it how it is but i will show you this that's why i'm not doing this eyes because i want to show you the difference okay just with small brush any brush you don't need to use this brush any brush you can use okay so now with same brush going here lime k lime this one lime color okay little bit of lime and go top of that mm -hmm. 
So here, so can you see the difference? I could leave the kazol how it, it was, but look at the difference. I will go with the darker color, this one, this green again, and go here. Can you see the difference? So every time I'll just do, do say, if you want, you can make a simple look, simple kajol look, a very nice, very, very elegant look. It's up, up to you. So I am going the same thing I'm going to do uh, under my eye. I am going with this color, lighter color, under my eye. It's very important how you do your normal look you can make it so fancy and now the yellow lime lime color okay see here my is done my eye makeup now i am going to brush all my baking my all my setting powder off like if you have under eye crease do like that okay go and put your get your setting uh, powder and do use your setting powder to set your under eye okay and this is my contouring i'm just wiping the side and top of my bridge oh where is my yes there now i'm gonna curl my eyelash your uh, all your life is so satisfaction and wonderful thank you so much sister i'm glad all of you like and love my lives and my page thank you so much Huda Beauty's um, mascara. I love Huda Beauty mascara and I love Benefit mascara as well. This is two product I will recommend everyone to buy. I really, really like Huda Beauty one, but I will say out of 10, if somebody said to me which one the best I love, I love Benefit one. Benefit mascara is more nicer than this one. But I don't know my B is in my bag, so I will use Huda Beauty's a volume one. Huda Beauty, this mascara is really good. I really like it. One side is curl and long, length and curl, one side is volume. When you're doing mascara, look up, go all the way through in and then put up, okay? I absolutely love Huda Beauty OMG. That mascara is so good, Bobby. You can get me one. Thank you, Bobby, for the best. Yeah, right. I don't go to school. That mascara is so good. So this is, uh, I, as I said, mentioned, I will use all those makeup what I absolutely love. So Huda Beauty's, this contouring um, highlighter palette, I absolutely love doing using this one. So I am going to use the white, little bit of white and little bit of gold on the inner corner. Any shade you're doing, try to do use a lighter color in your in inner corner of your eye your eye will look bright if you do and i will use here under my eyebrow this is a benefit number zero five um eyebrow pencil this is a dark brown color i love using this one it's so easy uh, normally I do my eyebrow all in the end because I feel like that my uh, I don't need to do a lot on my eyebrows uh, but if you have really really a light eyebrow 
it's so good if you are looking for something it's so tiny weeny in the front and i absolutely love this uh, um i um eyebrow pencil it's so good uh, if you are looking for something really easy to apply, you can use this one. Um, if you, your eyebrow is really light, you can do your eyebrow in the beginning and then your eye makeup. For me, I feel like my eyebrow is quite dark. So I always do my eyebrow in the end. So I am just shaping my outside of my eyebrow and i'm just doing a little bit of stroke one two stroke on the front and this is a dark alexa skip dark um brown color not black i don't like to use bra this brush is opb brush again i am using so i am highlighting under my eyebrow and now I am highlighting top of my bridge, tips of my nose, and I am going to use the highlighter on my chin. I absolutely love this highlighter. It's so nice. Very, very nice. Uh, Huda Beauty highlighter. go for a nice eyelash i i don't need to use eyelash but i feel like this eye makeup is so nice bomb lager the be perfect i absolutely love 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 all of their lashes this one is sing and i this is the lashes i really really like love this look thank you i'm using d o d u o do um like this glue is so good this eyelash glue is so good if you're looking for something really really good so if you're looking for a good eyelash glue this is a really really good um eyelash glue the lash look banging is so good i absolutely love these eyelashes liner is beautiful from ebay You could see girls trip huda beauty's girls trip this is maybelline 540 this is so nice i really like this lip, lip liner the girls trip and as a brown lip liner this light lip liner is from ebay and this is a maybelline red color so i mix a brown red and this lipstick Let's go for a lip gloss. So this is a number seven um, lip gloss. It's a clear lip, lip gloss. The other day, one of the sisters was asking me, do I do lip filler? I don't. I use lip gloss top of my lipstick and it's look like that and i always put shade here dark shade here here okay lighter shade on the middle and here dark shade here dark shade here and then lip gloss is the look is my final look of the day today this is my makeup 
the blending is everything i do keep say tell you guys do blending and when you're using a damp, damp beauty blender for your foundation set your foundation very well keep tap tap tapping until you are happy about it okay if you learn anything one to one you can always dm me so salam alaikum bye thank you so much always joining me thank you so much always supporting me always love me uh, and um, always enjoy my life because of you guys i enjoy my life as well to do and i look forward to come and do um tutorials and cooking cleaning everything i do receive a lot of lot of dm a lot of lot of beautiful beautiful message thank you so much to encourage me thank you so much to love me thank you so much always there uh, when i need you guys when i feel lonely when i'm not well when i'm not feeling down you you guys always uh, there for me alhamdulillah thank you so much it's a beautiful blessing to help um support all those beautiful beautiful uh, sisters out there and thank you so much you guys don't know what you guys doing for me uh it's a beautiful platform uh alhamdulillah to support each other and i'm blessed uh thank you so much inshallah i'll see you guys soon okay bye take care have a lovely lovely evening thank you assalamualaikum bye